This is a good report from Pepsi, and I think the stock reflects that. They put up their best sales growth in three years, 5.2% organic revenue growth. And that's the way to look at it. That's the pure look at sales, stripping out extras like currency pressure, which is still dragging on profits. What's behind it? Well, snacks for one. Frito-Lay sales up 6%. North American beverages grew as well, up 2.5%. Frito-Lay chips, the core brand, actually grew 3%, and Pepsi core brand grew 3%. Other highlights, bubbly sparkling water, more than 60% growth from last year. Mountain Dew yeah. Game Fuel, Pepsi Zero Sugar, Gatorade Zero, all of these products were doing really well. What's not working for Pepsi? Well, Mountain Dew and tea are some of the weaker spots. Also, Quaker Oats in the food business lagged and put up negative growth. So what's changed? Well, besides having a new CEO, Ramon LaGuardia did take over for Andrew Nui in October. Pepsi has really ramped up investment, spending big time on advertising. In fact, ad, ad growth there is growing faster than sales growth right now. Coke's been pursuing the same strategy. Also, I'm told execution at Pepsi is sharper. For instance, what the industry calls feed on the street, Salesforce placing products in stores. That's all going better. The big question is why didn't Pepsi raise its guidance with these new growth prospects? I asked CFO Hugh Johnston. The world is a volatile place, and, and obviously with our guidance, we always want to accommodate some level of volatility. But we are pleased with the results. Competitively, we're pleased with the top line. Uh, and we do expect, as we see upsides that come through in the business, to reinvest them back to even strengthen and, and further make our business stronger. Bottom line, analysts say that was a pretty conservative guidance, and they expect Pepsi to beat it. The stock has already reflected the growth, as you can see. I mean, it has been climbing particularly strong in the last three months into this report. What well, Coke has been flat over three months. That's a bit of a change. Because as we've been talking about, Welford, Coke had been carrying the growth torch in the industry over the last few quarters. It's going to report next week. It's gotten hurt a little bit harder by the currency headwinds because it's got a bigger international business. But mm -hmm. certainly the bar has been set higher by strong growth from Pepsi. But that sort of, I don't know what that chart was, 18-month chart, was it? I think it that was a year. But, but uh, Coke, very, very strong over that period, 50 60% higher.